Yes, yes, people, the world is going crazy, man. I can't believe it. Went for a curry last night, got home, went to bed, yeah. I woke up this morning and all hell has broken loose. As you can see from the screen, it's Looney Tunes time. Guys, check this out, yeah. Absolutely madness. Harry Kane to Bayern. Here we go. Deal completed between all parties. As Kane is given his final green light. Tottenham to receive 100 million euros plus fixed fee in add-ons up to 20 million euros. He'll fly to Germany today. However, then we're hearing that potentially Kane is now stuck at Heathrow Airport Terminal 1. Mate, guy can't get through the, the security checks. Daniel Levy reportedly has now said, actually, wait a second. There's a couple of things that I want to change in the deal and has then revoked the permission for Harry Kane to fly to Germany. This has then been disputed by Tottenham Hotspur, but Harry Kane is apparently now, he's not actually at the airport, but apparently he deviated from going to the airport to his family house, like his family home or somewhere, it's somewhere around the Heathrow Airport um, base, and he's now just chilling, waiting for the permission again. It's crazy. No one knows really what's going on. We think he's going to fly to Germany today, but truth be told, it's all, it's all gone crazy and no one actually knows what is going on. Then we get this news. Liverpool and Brighton are preparing all documents for Moises Caicedo deal. Agreement reached on a £110 million British transfer deal after a late uh, night bid was accepted. This is crazy. Caicedo now looks like he's going to be heading to Liverpool. Or is it? There are rumours now that Caicedo is now slowly delaying his move up to, up to Liverpool from London this morning because he's waiting for a potential late bid from Chelsea. Does he prefer a move to Chelsea? Potentially. That's what some people are speculating now on social media. He has, he has now got that deal now secured with Liverpool. He can travel to Liverpool. And to be honest, I think he probably will do. But he's still in, he's still in London right now. So there is a chance that he's he's waiting for Chelsea to put in a bid so he can go to Chelsea. Maybe he prefers Chelsea over Liverpool. Who knows? But again, just another incredible story that's breaking this morning. The, the whole world is just going absolutely crazy. And then this one, uh, this was a little bit late uh, later on. This was um, this was last night actually. But this is for City. This is Lucas Paqueta wants to join Manchester City. Uh, club club negotiations continue as City will bid again after initial verbal bid. For, for, for Paqueta, for £70 million has been rejected. Now, we've seen that yesterday. However, that Santi JM of Twitter, who's, I guess he is a source, but you kind of don't know how good he is as, as a, actual source. Like, how good is he? He's now reporting that City are willing to go up to £90 million, a £20 million jump. That just seems to me like quite high price for Paqueta. It's also quite a big jump from Fabrizio's £70 million um, sort of mark where City are at. So what are City going to do here? You know what I mean? Are we going to go back in for him? Are we going to even sign him? On what price are we willing to pay for Paqueta? Surely we're not just going to go from 70 to 90. That just seems ridiculous. That's more than like a 25% increase. So, you know, I don't see that happening at that price. I think maybe we might go up to 75, 80 million, which for me personally, I think is incredible. Like that is, that is just so overpriced. It's unbelievable. But, hey, listen, he is a good player. And, and it's not even that I don't like Paqueta. You know what I mean? It's, it's more the fact that, like, I, I don't know if we... Do we need him? Do we actually need... I don't know if we need him. And, and can he play right wing if we need him to? He's played there 13 times in his career. He's 25. You know what I mean? So, can he play right wing? Will he be a good option to play in the mid, midfield? I don't know. But, listen, it's all going off this morning. You know what I mean? This, this video is probably expired by the time it's uploaded because it just keeps on popping off. I think the Caicedo one for me is the most important one. I think Kane, listen, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what Levy's decided to do at the last minute to delay it slightly, but I do think he'll end up travelling to Germany today. The Caicedo one, though, I think that's the one to watch out. I think if Chelsea come in now with a late bid, 110 million, which I gets accepted, will Caicedo pick Chelsea or Liverpool. He's still in London. He's still not travelled or travelling to, to Liverpool. I, I, I do think he'll end up going to Liverpool now because the bid's accepted. So, obviously, you've got to look at the odds and say, well, it's probably going to go to Liverpool if they've accepted the bid. But, listen, who knows, man? I think it's going to be a really, really fascinating story. Um, just a quick one for you guys today. You know what I mean? I just thought I'd jump on with a quick video, give you guys a bit of an update. It's absolutely crazy. We'll be live later on, of course, for the live watch-along. Manchester City taking on Burnley at Turf Moor for the first Manchester City game of the season. So make sure you join me for that first watch along on the XLB channel. Guys, if you want to help support me, yeah, make sure you drop a like on this stream and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure you join me later on for the watch along. And guys, I'll see you later on. See you in a bit.